everyone and welcome back in this programming series we are solving the frequently asked questions in mnc's like tcs infosys wipro and we are solving one one questions every day so make sure you subscribe to this channel and today we are going to solve one uh, very famous problem which is armstrong number so let's get started and i will also explain each and every line of this code so that you will have a better understanding how exactly the code is working so let's get started so i'm going to create one class armstrong number okay so i have created one class let me just create the main method i have also created the main method now we are not going to hard code the value and check that we are going to get the value from the user okay we are not going to just provide one value so it will work for every value so i am using the scanner class to get the value from the user okay here i will use system dot in so we'll get the value from the user for the better readability we'll use the one uh, enter the number okay now we need to get the value so we'll store it in num sc dot next int of okay till now it is fine perfectly now what i am going to do is i am going to store this in one variable i will explain each and every line don't worry let me just complete that so num value is equal to num i am storing this value in one another variable so that uh, i will not uh, lose this particular variable i will explain it don't worry uh, now i need some more variables like result i need then some remainder variable i need and what else i need uh, result remainder and length also i need okay perfectly fine so let me just whatever is needed later point of time we'll uh, add this but for now this is fine and let me just start with the condition while num value not equal to 0 we are going to do what remainder we will first use remainder is equal to num value num value modulus 10 okay and in result what we are going to do result is equal to result plus math math dot power function we are going to use and uh, one thing that you have noticed here as soon as i typed here math math one second dot power you can see it is accepting double value and it, it is returning double okay so what i will pass here is i need to pass the remainder and the length here okay so length currently we don't have actually length we need so that it will iterate so like i will explain it don't worry so first of all what i need to do here is length i have declared here length i need to find for that element i will explain each and every line let me just complete this first so length is equal to a string dot value of num dot length okay this will give me the length of that particular value all right remainder we have got okay see as i told you math dot power is accepting double value and it is returning double but result we have taken integer that is why it is giving this error so what we can do is we can just cast it to int so this will work okay now why what we need to do is we need to num value is equal to num value by 10 okay and at the end what i need to do is i need to use the if condition to check if num is equal to is equal to result then i can use this out and i can print armstrong number otherwise what i can do is i can print not arm strong okay let me just zoom in a little bit so that you will see this properly let me just remove the unwanted spaces from here 
okay all right from here also let me just remove that unwanted spaces so that you will be able to see the whole code okay perfectly fine let me just check this and then i will explain the code to you enter the number it is asking let me enter one two three one two three is not an armstrong let me enter the armstrong number which is three seven and zero so it is an armstrong number so now let me explain what exactly is happening here so this particular line is nothing but a printf statement that is all second line we are accepting one input from the user side okay and this is the input we are expecting uh, expecting and it's an integer sc dot next int will accept the integer now we are declaring one num value and we are assigning num to it why we are doing this because see in while loop we are using the num value or every time we are manipulating this num value so num value will be changing and in if condition we are using num to compare with the result so if we will not take this num value will be manipulating with this num only so that will create a problem so suppose a num is 370 so at the end we need this 370 to compare with the result then only we will be able to say that okay this is the armstrong number okay num value we have taken so that we will be use this inside the while loop now we have taken some variable result remainder and length now see this particular length why we are finding it because in math dot power we need to have the uh, like base into the power okay so if we will not take the length we cannot pass the hard coded value because we are expecting it from the user side so this particular will provide the length length method is not available in integer so that is why we are using the string dot value of we are converting it in the string and then we are using the length method okay so particular this length method will return the length return the length okay now understand it very properly so that you will not have to watch another video for that now while num value is not equal to zero iterate through this loop and what exactly will happen here at first what will happen we have 370 okay we have 370 so once the loop will iterate our remainder what will happen for the remainder value is see we are using modulus so num value modulus 10 what exactly it will return 370 mod 10 what exactly it will return it will return us the 0 okay it will return us the 0 now here result is 0 math dot power remainder is 0 0 comma length length we have here is length it will give us the 3 3 7 0 is the length 3 so whatever 0 to the power 3 it will return 0 only so here we will have the 0 okay now in num value what exactly will happen in num value what exactly is exactly it will return num value will return num value is equal to it will have num value by 10 370 by 10 it will return so what it will return it will give us the value what exactly it will give 37 37 it will return now 37 will go here again because see num value is not g not equal to 0 it is 37 so again it will go to inside this loop now here num value is 37 37 by 10 what exactly it will give this time it will give 7 okay now result was 0 earlier now 7 is going inside 7 to the power length is 3 length we are not manipulating so 7 to the power 3 so now whatever the 7 to the power 3 value will be there it will store it inside the result okay now again here it will come 37 by 10 this time what it exactly it will give exactly this time it will give 37 by 10 so what we whatever we is available it will print so okay so again it will go here and again it will be here 3 and then it will uh, do the power of 3 so like this this it will work at the end whatever the result that we will be getting we are comparing the num with the result the original number with the result so if the result is matching then we can say that it is a armstrong number if not 
then it is a not Armstrong. So the concept for the Armstrong number is suppose if 370 we have, so it's a three digit number. So 3 to the power 3 plus 7 to the power 3, 7 to the power 3 plus 0 to the power 3 should be equal to 370. Okay. If this is fine, then it will be an Armstrong number. So hope you have understood this problem and if there is any doubt you can comment and you can ask me and thank you so much for watching have a great day thank you and please don't forget to subscribe because every day i'm going to upload one uh, problem like this thank you so much